about fame and fortune and all that fancy stuff. In these parts, we dream about a decent yard sale. What else have you got to sell me today? Or a shark chainsaw. Or an old hit and miss motor that don't take too much elbow grease to bring back to life. Our big book of dreams comes out bright and early every Thursday morning. And that's when us dickers start turning dreams into reality. You're gonna need that to make money. Oh, yeah. All right, thanks yeah. a lot. All right, yeah. easy. Welcome to the good life, where there's no bosses <laughs> and no rules. And it's all made possible by Uncle Henry's, a book that we use to make our living. Buying, selling, swapping, trading, <laughs> or as we say, down east dickers. sneaking up on us, and I'm hosting it this year, along with my trusty sidekick, Oddfish, and my financial advisor, Old Duke. And you see, we're going to need about $600 worth of lobster to keep this family tradition alive. Potato All the kids salad. running around, yeah, potato and macaroni salad, watermelon. Woo! Like any dicker is worth our salt, we don't want to spend a dime out of our pockets. So we're going to have to find an Uncle Henry's. Got the Uncle Henry's in right there. And find somebody to dicker with. Seeing anything in there, Caldwell? I haven't seen anything yet. No, I ain't seen a hell of a lot. Ah, right here. There's an ad for a guy selling lobsters, so we're gonna give him a holler. How with it? I'm gonna give him a try. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it is. Hey, what's going on? And he said he could meet us in a couple of hours, so we're headed off to the coast. Yeah, I got lots of lobster. Come on down and have a look. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. Let's load up, dude. great state of Maine has 228 miles of coastline, and most of it will take your breath away. And Duke would sniff every inch of it if he could. The old boy, he loves that beach. Duke, old boy, what do you think, buddy, huh? You like this? What do you think, boy, huh? What is it? Smelling this salt air, I've got my mind on lobster, so hopefully we can make a deal on a lobster piece. What do you think? You want to go try and get a lobster? Huh? Let's do it, boy. Come on. You want to look presentable when you're dickering with a stranger. So either me and Codfish have to clean up our act from time to time. Bad hair day. Hey, how you doing, old boy? Hey, guys, how you doing? You mind if we jump out and pick your brain for a minute? No, not a, a little bit. fresh air? Come not on, dude, get out, old boy. You live right here in the neighborhood? Yep. yep, yep, right down the road. Nice. Yep, we have a family reunion every year, and yep. they're gathering. It'd be nice to throw every, at least the elderly in the crowd a lot. So sure. Kids can eat hot dogs and burgers. Sure. Do a little bartering yes. and make some type of a trade with you. We could do that. Maybe I've do been done it in the past. <laughs> what are you looking for? You got any ideas? I might be looking for an old outboard. Yeah. Ah, he's looking for an outboard motor. I think we can make that happen. I like the old Johnsons, you know, the six, eight, five to... 10 horsepower Johnson, you yeah, know, in the 60s, yeah. 60s models. So you're just looking easy. for something small. Something small. How about a trade? We bring you down a, a motor. Yeah. And you fill our truck up with lobsters. Yeah. That makes sense. You know, to bring you in something that ain't a basket case, we're probably looking to start at $400 and up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you willing to do huh? for a little work, maybe? A little work? Yeah, a little work. <laughs> so a little work in there. No, I really wasn't banking on breaking the sweat here, but we need about $600 worth of lobster. So we're going to have to toss in some labor. Codwell and Duke can do all the hard work. I'll do the heavy <laughs> onlooking. Sounds good. That'll Let's work. do it. Let's wrap it up. Yeah. Thank you, boss. I'm good. Thank you. Good. Dennis is going to hook us up with about $600 worth of lobster and trade for a vintage boat motor worth about $400. So it looks like we'll have to work on his boat to make up the difference. Come on now. Plus, we're pretty strapped, so we don't get a lot of time to hunt up this motor. Load up, boy. <laughs> A few miles inland, Clint and Bruce, they're taking a load off while putting their decker and hats on. I'm gonna go free for the taking. I love free for the taking. Free for the taking, sir. It's a race. It's gone. It's a race. You know it's gone. Uh, no, it's I It's already I beat gone. Them all. Look, toilet in great shape. Free. <laughs> <laughs> Seven car and truck tires of various sizes. Used horse stall savings. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Here's one, um, needed someone to clean old barn. Wow. We'll swap trade. Sounds like a treasure hunt. Yeah, why don't we call him? Yeah, hello. Hey, I'm calling about the ad you've got in Uncle Henry's. Uh, 
guys the stuff that my father's collected through the years there. He's got some neat old stuff. He's a hoarder, you know what I mean? He's getting old. I like to clean the barn right out. We gotta go. We'll be there in a few. No, this isn't part of the deal. Oh, it's still up. <laughs> I know your dad. Nice to meet you, Clint. You do? Yeah, I've never got anything from him. Oh, okay. Mike's dad's a notorious hoarder in these hearts. He will keep anything and everything. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got his first diaper. Boy, I'm yeah. interested to see what's in here. What's the deal? What are you going to keep? Well, go. I don't know. We'll see. Just see, there's a bunch of stuff that he'd probably, he'd probably hang his own son if I, if I sold it to somebody. You know, yeah. Mike wants us to clean this place up for his dad. That's a tall order. This place looks like a bomb went off in here. Wow, look at that. It's more I like that one. Well, they will. The singers stopped making these so that they could produce weapons for the war back right. in, right. This back in no World War II. No kidding. Yeah. Say hello to my singer. <laughs> <laughs> if these are running, they're, they're collectible. They're a good item. What else you got hidden in this place, anyway? What the heck is this? That's an old a balloon basket. A balloon yeah, basket? Yeah, yeah, the hot air balloons. Really? Yeah, you know. I think he got this back in the 50s. Looks what good. What the heck is that? Hey, we got some elk guys. There's some decent pieces in here. There's some things that we can make some money on. We can make profit on these things. Is this the deal? We organize the barn. You pay us $700 with the option to buy stuff out of the barn with that 700 bucks. Yeah, that, that sounds good. That's a good deal. That's awesome. Thanks, right. man. Well, we'll catch you guys later. Sounds good, Hill. All right. This is a lot of work. Oh, I'm going to call Nate. You want to call This is going to be work. All right. right. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, Nate. Hey, how's it going? What's going on today? You been to the gym yet? Uh, yeah, why? Well, don't bother, buddy, because we got some work for you. Well, Clint's getting his crew together to tackle a big job. Another pair of local kickers, they're thumbing through Uncle Henry's themselves, hoping to find one to tackle. And trust me, you're gonna like these guys. Morning, Phil. Speedy. How are you doing? Good, and you? Good to see you. Good to be seen. Hey, we got Uncle Henry's in yet? Oh, there they are. Nice. Right. Name is Shane. People call me Speedy, and I'm from Gore, Maine. I'm a little amped up. I'm always on the go. I gotta get things done. I hate sitting still. Take care, right, Phil. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Take care. I've always been this way. I used to be medicated when I was a child, part. My name's Greg. Most people call me the Tin Man because I do metal roofs, tin roofs. I'm from uh, Sanford, Maine. The Tin Man and I go way back. I've known him 30, 35 years. You gonna move over? He's always got my back, and he knows I'll always have his back, so no matter what, that makes us a good team. Somebody's looking for a used or a new pontoon boat. Really? Really, yeah. I wonder if they'd be interested in one of our homemade uh, pontoon yeah, boats, the Tin so. Man. Last summer, Speedy and I built a customized pontoon boat with a picnic table on it. It didn't take that long. We made a little money off it, and I know we can do that same thing again. Good morning, Parker. Good morning. I saw you had an ad in Uncle Henry's that you were looking for a used or new pontoon boat. Are you the right person to talk to? Yes, I am. Okay, well, uh, I got one I think you'd really be interested in. It's definitely one of a kind. Well, I'm always interested in one of a kind. Okay, Jill. Well, I'll see you shortly. Come on, Max, let's go. We got us some dickering to do. The pontoon boat isn't built yet, but if we can convince Jill to buy one, with a little luck, I know Speedy and I can get it built real quick. This must be the place. This is it. Help us sell this boat, Max. Come on. Hi, I'm looking for Jill. Hey, I'm Jill. They call me the Tin Man. Tin Man, nice to meet you. That's kind of an interesting name. Speedy. Well. Speedy. Tin Man just talked to you about a pontoon boat. What are you looking for? Well, we're actually looking for some either new or used inventory that would be kind of unique that people in the area would really no, kind of yeah, be yeah. drawn to. Yeah, heck, I got what you want. We make a floating picnic table boat. Any it, brochures or literature uh, about the product you're selling? I, mean, I can draw you up a picture. Sure. Picture of a picnic table up here, and, and we got a seat comes over here, and we float it on barrels, and it's, but we also put a lock around out front here. There's a deck there to get around the other side of the picnic table, and we got another seat that comes up over in here, okay? And, uh, you know, throwing an umbrella over here, and you got your plastic drums that are underneath. We put a frame, and we put them on that. It's... I got a picture right here. A smartphone? Yeah, my wife bought a smartphone for a dummy. That is interesting, gentlemen. What did you guys have in mind as far as, you know, price for one of these guys? A thousand dollars. Ow! Thousand dollars. Thousand smiles. It's a little steep. 
Yeah. Mm. We're willing to build that boat for 850, but we don't want her to know that. She might try to lowball us. Well, how about $900 cash? Nine. I was really thinking 800 bucks. Whoa. Really, eight, 800 bucks cash. What do you think about that? 850. 850. 850 it is then. We made a deal to build this pontoon boat in one week for $850. But the thing is, we're going to need the materials to do it. And right now, we don't have them. Thank you so much. Come well, on, Max, we got a picnic table to put together. Go ahead, Max. Keep them working. Speedy and 10, man, they're really going to have to bust their humps if they're going to get that boat built on time. And down the road, old Nate, he's ready to bust something out in order to help clean up Mike's mind. Let's just bust ass and get it done. We're cleaning out a hoarder's barn. You can't throw anything away. If we put something in the wrong pile, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> this seems efficient, doesn't it? <laughs> You're in, buddy. I'm good. So far, Clint's cleanup's been all fun and games. Until now. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Trying to clean this barn up for 700 bucks cash? <laughs> We're trying to be careful, but sometimes we're like bulls in a china shop. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Luckily, there's so many scratches on this old heap, I don't think he's going to notice it. Move it over. Holy cow! The guy that owns a car is a hoarder, and you don't want to damage a hoarder's most valuable possession. And about everything they have is their most valuable possession. <laughs> oh, <laughs> While Clint and Bruce wrap up their job, me and Codfish, we're just getting started on ours. We're working off four hours as deck hands in order to get the six hundred dollars worth of lobster for the family gathering. Sorry, Godfrey. Morning. 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 Come on, guys. Let's get to work. All right, Duke. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> now me and Codfish were a jack of all trades. But going out on this lobster boat, whole new ball game. He's running around. Oh, he's already down. He beat us down here. He's he's more right right you guys. Yeah, he he's <laughs> ready to go. Doesn't take me, Codfish, and Duke long to figure out that this job's going to be a lot stinkier and a lot stickier than we first imagined. All right, guys, this is what you got to do here. We take one of these pogies, cut that in half, put in a half pogey, three heron. Three heron. That's it. All right, jump on that. from there. When fishing for lobster, you got to cut bait, set your traps. Then you got to retrieve them to check on your catch. And that's the way lobstermen have been doing it since the early 1800s, when American lobstermen first started using lobster traps. What do you think, old boy? You going out on the boat? Well, you going out on the boat with a crazy boy. And today, Maine is the largest lobster-producing state in the great U.S. of A. That's right. You ain't got to bend over. When you put the band on, you just kind of twist. And you don't want to twist off the claws. It'll right. twist off the claws pretty easy. Just the regular old lobstermen, ain't you? I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> It's a baby lobster. His claws broke too. That's terrible. Yeah. What's that, Duke? Huh, buddy? What is that? You're gonna grab it, right? Yeah. There you go. Perfect. I'll take this and I'll measure it. Make sure it's good. We got three out of that one. We're well on our way, Tony. Good job on the bait. I only had to show them once. Bands and lobsters, I only had to show them once. That's a sign of a pretty good crew right there. It's been a mighty productive day. We did what we agreed to do. $600 worth of lobster in exchange for four hours of hard labor on the boat. But we still owe Dennis a vintage motor. We're somewhere around 400 beans. Give us another 48 hours, we'll be down here with your motor. Sounds good. Now we gotta go home and uh, get cleaned up, get some of this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, lobster juice off us, I guess. And, uh, We'll find a motor. Make sure it's a good one. All right, All we'll right. get your good right. one. Thank, Thank you, boss. We'll see you in a day, too. All right, buddy. Come on, Duke. Load up, old boy. 
We just crossed one job off our to-do list. But further up the road, Speedy and Tin Man, they're getting ready to tackle their own to-do list. They need to build that pontoon boat they promised. But first, they're going to need to find some barrels. Hello. Good morning. I saw an ad in Uncle Henry's for some barrels. Are you the right person to talk to? Yes, that's me. How many barrels you got? I have six. Uh, I'm asking 25 each. Could I come over and check them out and talk with you about that? This lady's asking $25 a barrel. Of course, me and Speedy don't want to spend that amount or any amount at all. We're about making money, not spending it. I'm Speedy. How are you? Good. How are you? Beautiful day. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Right size. They're the right size. What are you going to have for them? 25 each. 25 each. Oh, mm. That's a little more than we were thinking about, huh, Speedy? That's what the price was on Uncle Henry's. She wants cash that we don't want to spend, but I think we can dick her a workaround. Would you be interested in trading or swapping out some work around the farm farm? I was really hoping to get some cash for him. Well, I was hoping to be born rich, but we don't always get what we want. What can you do? Well, I can do just about anything. I'm very handy. I do carpentry work. I paint. I, I'll do anything. Repairs, I'm just trying to, construction. I'm trying to get these barrels for nothing because I got a project I really could use them on and I don't have a lot of money to put into the project. I think I can find some work for you guys. Of course she can. She has a barn the size of an airplane hanger here. She's got to have chores that need to be done in exchange for these barrels. I got a pig pen that needs some work. Do you mind getting dirty? We'll be paid for it. We'll do it. We'll get it done. Don't worry about things, you know? I thought we were going to get some barrels for uh, an easy trade, and I'm, I'm in the mud with the pigs here. What did I get myself into? <laughs> I got a pig pen that needs some work. Do you mind getting dirty? This lady Hillary wants us to fix two gates in the pig pen in exchange for the barrels for the pontoon boat. The problem is, we're going to be in there with them pigs with no protection. In all honesty, pigs kind of spook me just a little. First pig that tries to attack me is going to be breakfast ham tomorrow morning. Hello, oh, get out of here. I'm busy working. Time to make your home better. Don't you know that? A little bit higher and towards me right there. Decker, that's good. Put something on the face of that. Two six inch pieces of two by six. That'll keep the pigs in and fits pretty good, doesn't it? That's one. Oh, she's a beauty. The pigs don't care. <laughs> well, let's hope Hillary does, because if we've done all this work and we don't get our barrels, that would suck. That works. Good job, sir. Nice Thank working you with you. Thank you. And you as well. Thank, Thank you, you, Hillary. Oh, this is great, Greg. We got our barrels. Yeah, we just gotta figure out why we're gonna get the things are, things are starting to come together, Speedy. Speedy and Tin Man, they're probably ready for a little break. And a few miles away, me and old Codfish, we just caught one. We spotted an ad in Uncle Henry's of an old boy who's got a honey hole of outboard motors. This is a five and a half hour Sea King. But the Sea King is made by Johnson and Evan Group. Right. Every part will interchange. Nice. Dennis did mention a Johnson specifically, but Johnson, they manufacture the Sea King. So this might not be such a big deal to Dennis. Or it might. If you pop the hood, check in. You look under the hood a little bit, huh? Yeah, there Boy, you go. she looks clean. Well, it is. It's a nice motor. Always been in fresh water. Always been in fresh water. Salt water can be real abrasive and corrosive to a motor. So a motor in these parts, it's only been in fresh water. That's a nice find. Well, you must want to unload it awful bad. What's the bad news? Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's like selling one of my kids. <laughs> I know. That's the thing. I guess. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess just yeah, I kind of want two fifty for it. Looking for two and a half. Yeah. Old Duke, he said we could go as high as two hundred, but that ain't gonna be our opening bid. You wouldn't take a buck and a quarter for it, would you? Oh, sorry, I couldn't go that low. Couldn't do that? No, I couldn't no. do that. I don't know. I, I, I might come down to 200. I don't know, a buck and a half? Uh, I'll tell you what I'll go. Uh, $175.50. $175.50? <laughs> yeah. $175.50? People usually dicker in dollars, not cents. We'll give you the $175.50. Yeah. You yeah. look us up a gas tank. Yeah, I'll hunt your attack. Let's do it. Good deal. Right, sounds yeah. good. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good deal. Yeah. We got the motor we were looking for, and it's in great shape, and it runs. It cost 175 bucks, 
and 50 cents. We thought he was going to ding us a lot harder than that. So it looks like we got off pretty easy. Well, Codwell, we got that one done. Yeah, hold it Hopefully, off. except some older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If you don't, we're not done. Only time will tell if Dennis is going to like this motor we picked out for him. And over in Clint's neck of the woods, it's time to find out if that cleanup job he did is getting a thumbs up. Another day, another dollar. Since Mike's dad's out of town, Mike's giving the old barn the once over. And Clint's really hoping Mike likes what he sees. Hey, the place looks good. You've done a decent job. You got we just, we didn't get rid of nothing. We just organized it. We put all the bike parts together right. and gave you some room. You wanted the barn clean. Yeah. We want this pile. We're at 700 bucks. $700. I mean, I'm looking at what's here. And that basket alone, that's worth almost the 700 bucks. No, it's not. If we're going to get the 700 bucks, we're going to need not just the balloon basket. We're going to need the old-timey bike and the sewing machine, too. This bike is called a penny farthing, and they were popular back in the 1800s. A restored penny farthing is worth four or $500, so it's definitely worth the effort to try to get a hold of this bike. I don't really know if I want to let go of that basket, you know. The yeah. deal Today, was $700 worth of labor. If you don't want to let anything go, I got no problem taking 700 bucks. There you go. I got no problem with that. I think if we just put a dollar value on this stuff and, and move on from Let's there. see where we land. Yeah. We're going to price out this stuff, starting with the bike. It's in excellent shape. I don't it think is. so. It's the in seats, excellent shape. The seats oh, fall. Might need a little paint, you know. Watch this. What? It's turning here. I know. That's because of the long torque. Just the way this bike sits right now, it's just concussion waiting to happen. But if I rehab it, I can probably make some profit. But I can't give Mike too much for it. The handlebars aren't straight. That's easy <laughs> to fix. You can't even pedal this thing. It's not a rideable bike. I'm at 250 on the bike. 200, and that's generous. I... 250. It's got the wrong pedals. Hey, all right. flex. You, you can replace all that. I mean, you can, but I'm going to be at another 250 and then I'm at $500. I'll go 300. Okay. So, what on the sewing machine? That Check one, out the treadle on that this one. That one was in operation. I know it's a, it's a ho homemade treadle. Right. What do you think, Bruce? What do you want? I'll give you 40 bucks. And won't give me 50 for nope. it? No, nope. we'll put it back. Okay, 40 bucks. All right. All that's left that we want right now is that hot air balloon basket. And I'm going to cut to the chase. Why don't you give us 100 bucks for an eight and throw in the basket, and we'll get out of your hair. I know there's a niche market for these hot air balloon baskets, especially if there might be some history behind it. People who love balloons and ballooning might pay a premium dollar to get a hold of this. Uh, I think we really need this. This is a gamble for us. $100 cash, so you can pay Nate. Yep. All right. That's awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Okay. Out of the $700 that we earned on this job, Mike's deducting $600 for the items we want. With the remaining $100 cash going to Nate for his labor helping us clean. I'm taking a big gamble turning down the $700 cash. Hopefully this will pay off when I turn these items around for a profit. That's a good cool. idea. There That's cool. Thanks, Mike. Is that a good deal? It is. Did you learn anything, Nate? I learned I need to let go of stuff. <laughs> Looks like Clint got what he was after. Not too far away, old Speedy and Tin Man, they're pretty desperate to get what they're after. And that's lumber to finish that pontoon boat. Then in the builder materials section here, there's uh, there's an ad for hillside lumber. I know, know Mike Knight, good. I've been Mike, doing yeah. business yeah, with him for like, a long time. You know what? We're hoping Mike's willing to trade a little labor for a little lumber so we can build that pontoon boat we just sold. Uh, I do have a project that... I've been putting off. I was going to do it myself, but I just don't have the time. Why don't I show it to you? All you, right. you let me know. Well, yeah. willing to do just about anything. Okay. We just spent a couple hours standing around ankle deep in pig poop, so our standards aren't that high. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow. He's in rough shape. Yeah, yeah I got yeah, a little, little bit. This whole thing looks like it's ready to collapse. Rebuilding it's going to be pretty dangerous. Risking our lives for a little wood. That's a lot more than we bargained for. Ooh, they are pretty bad. Oh, whoa, oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. Speedy and I need about $400 worth of lumber to build this pontoon boat. And Mike's willing to trade us that if we rebuild those stairs and make them safe for the people that have to work here. This thing looks totally rotted, and we're probably risking life and limb to get anywhere near this. We got to do the whole thing up there and that ladder. 
There's an upper stairway there that we'd have to replace the treads and so forth yeah. on, too. Yeah, so, great. You know, how long do you think it's going to take you, Speed? It'll be a good day's worth of work for two guys going right at it. Yeah. The deal is to fix some ladders and stairs on the building where they collect all the sawdust from the sawmill here and make them safe for the people that have to work here. How much lumber do you think I can get for, you know, tearing this all apart and getting it put back together nice and... Sounds like you need about 400 bucks. You can get it down, we'll load your truck when you're done. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Good deal. Bye. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate your help. It's going to be a dirty job for sure, a lot of rotten lumber, but at least we're not going to be in big no more. Oh, yeah. Boy, they're lucky someone didn't fall down through this, huh? Well, Speedy and Tin Man put their carpentry skills to the test. Clint, he's putting his instincts to the test. He's pretty sure somebody's gonna buy that old sewing machine him and Bruce picked up. My name's Bruce Thomas. I'm Diane Bebba. Diane, this is Clint. Clint Rogan. We're taking some of these pieces that we got from Mike to a local antique dealer. She'll know whether or not there's a market for this stuff. And who knows? Maybe she'll bite on some. Just got this the other day. It's got the original motor on it. She's in pretty rough shape, isn't she? It's complete. But it's a relic. It's got some age on it. And she's got the original seal here. And she's a Vaughn brand, which is a singer. So what are we looking at for price? A jar item? Let me see if I can afford it. I think this is worth more as a working unit than as just an antique. Just a display. But antique. you're into antiques. I would say probably for me to turn this over on the market today with today's standards, I would say probably $150. I think you're in the ballpark. Mm hmm Because I, I was kind of bottomed out at 225 Okay. So, I mean, we can talk. I think that I can get, if I put a belt on it, I put the cord on it that's been cut, and this fire's and not. demonstrate it. It's 500 bucks. Oh, wow. My second offer would be $250. Now, that's something I've never seen before. I've never had someone offer me more money than what I was asking. I think I like this thing. It's not an antique that you see every day, and I would be willing to pay a little more over your offer because it is a very collectible like antique. Oh, I like her, and girl. I will be back. I'm going to come here first. <laughs> okay, time. you do that. I'll I'm right up first. front. Right. There's no way that we can let this lady pay more than we're asking. That That's not right. I don't think we can do that, though. He, he offered it to you for $225. Fair is fair. We'll take $225. That's All right. righty. That's not right. <laughs> that's awesome. Just put it down there, boys, anywhere. Yeah. How would you like me to pay you? Check or cash? What do you think? What do you want? <laughs> I usually pay in cash. Good Woo! American cash. That's what we want. That's awesome. <laughs> we just got 225 bucks for this old sewing machine we got for cleaning out the barn, and that's just the first item that we traded. Okay, boys, come right in. That's awesome, huh? That's All righty. Oh, Clint, he thought that sewing machine would sell fast. And boy, he was right. And back down the road, those Speedy and Tin Men, they thought their job would go slow. They were dead wrong. We thought this job was going to take all day long, but we hustled our butts off and got it done in about four hours. They don't call him Speedy for nothing. He works twice as fast as anyone in Maine. I think it'll come out pretty good, Speedy, huh? It, yeah, I think that Mike's going to be real happy. We'll be off to build that picnic table now. <laughs> Looks good, guys. Well, I haven't been up here in years. <laughs> I didn't date him. Didn't date him, yeah. No, that's good. Good. I like it. Nice and sturdy. Good job. Mike's happy, no one's gonna fall and get hurt, and that's what he wanted in the beginning, and that's what we did in the end. We've got our lumber, we've got our barrels, and now we're gonna go get our picnic table built and take care of Jill. <laughs> Speedy and Tin Man, they really want to impress their new friend Jill. And down by the water's edge, me, Codfish, and Duke, we're hoping our new friend will be happy what we've done for him. We're back at old boy Dennis's to show him the outboard we just picked up. If he doesn't like it, we're not going to end up with the lobsters we dick it for. And we'll have a hell of a time explaining to the family back at the reunion why they're chewing on an outboard motor. Tony, what's going on, How buddy? you doing, old boy? Good to see you. We're just on. getting in this morning. How you doing? Good, you? What you got for me? Well, I don't know. I think you're going to like it. Come you take a look. So? I think All you're right, going to like this old jewel. Well, we know what you were looking for. Yeah. We know you were looking for a Johnson or an Evinrude. Yeah. So we've decided to bring you both. A little bit of both. A little of both. Look at that old girl. Nice old sea king. An old sea king, and she's wow. just been redone. We got this from an old timer that yeah. redoes yeah. old motors. He yeah. says he had it out two weeks ago is what he told us out on Belgrade yeah. Lake. Yeah. She's pretty clean wow. of a girl, really. So how are we standing? You like this old girl? Is it going to work for you? Yeah, so how are we standing? You like this old girl? Is it going to work for you? 
Old Dennis, he agreed to buy us some lobsters in exchange for an outboard motor. But what we picked up isn't exactly what he was asking for. And right now, he's holding a pretty straight poker face. So I can't tell if he likes it or not. Let me tell you, I absolutely love it. You like great, it? Very great. Yeah. It's great outboard. It's going to serve your purpose? I think it'll I think it'll work just fine. I get, I get 20 years out of that thing. I think so. Yeah, I think so, stuff. yeah. An experienced fisherman like Dennis, he knows a good motor when he lays his eyes on one. Of course, I got to get you some lobster. Yeah, yeah, that's the deal. Yeah, right. Okay. Yo, come on, you got to help. A nice one there. $600 worth of lobster for a motor that was worth about $400 and a few hours later. But in the end, we only paid about 175 bucks and 50 cents. So we ended up skimming off about $424 and 50 cents. We'll tuck that away for these long, dark, cold winters. We found a motor. We just come and traded it for a bunch of lobsters. We're going to fill ourselves and our family's grocery holes. Can't beat that. Can't pull that off anywhere but in the good old state of Maine. <laughs> Well, it's time to fire up them old lobster pots, because the boil is on. And while me, Codfish, and Duke are building up our appetites, Speedy and Tin Man, they're ready to start building that pontoon boat. We have to get this done today. I want it to be me and my word. I said, we'll have it to her. we got to get it to her, so let's get going on. Yeah, let's put a double secret rush on it. Speedy's really earned his nickname on this job, and he hasn't even had breakfast yet. Imagine what he'd be like if he had a cup of coffee. Take a look at it. You think it looks all right? I think, I think it looks might fine. be pretty close. There's a couple that were just a little out of square. I don't think it's a big deal, huh? I don't either. It's a picnic table and a church. <laughs> we put a lot of sweat into building this pontoon boat. I hope Jill likes it, because, man, it'll be awful if she doesn't. Old Speedy and Tin Man, they're on pins and needles, wondering if that pontoon boat's gonna pass the muster. And up the road a piece, old Clint, he's on pins and needles himself, wondering if that old balloon basket was a wise investment. We couldn't add Uncle Henry's with some of these items that we got, and today, we're starting to get some visitors. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Dave, I said you were coming. coming. From my wife today. Hey. I haven't seen you guys in ages. How you doing? Good. Dave's a local guy that likes to collect oddball items. It's the perfect market for this basket, and I know he's a buyer, because we've done business with him before. I want to take everything you got. <laughs> You're working at it pretty hard right now. So, uh, what was you thinking you might want for something like that there? I did some research on this basket, and it sold for near $1,200 in the 50s. I'm going to be bold and ask for something close to that amount just to see if I can get it. So I've done a little bit of research. Yeah. Way more value on it than, than we first realized. Mm. You know what I mean? I'm not right. saying that you don't want to pay me $1,100, but that's the bottom. It's got more value. $1,100? No. It looks ridiculous for a giant hippo, but... No, I don't know. I don't think so. That was... $1,100 or not, I can't do that. Yeah. What's our neighborhood? What, what are you thinking about? Oh, be about half. Right. We only had it in a couple of days. Yeah. And so I want to feel it out, and that may be yeah. the best offer I get. I know it's risky not taking cash today on this deal, but as a good dicker, I know sometimes patience pays. All right, thanks, Dave. Well, nice 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 the good news is someone else is already on their way to look at this basket, and she says she's a balloon enthusiast. She's fascinated by the history behind these old balloons, and she loves the memorabilia that goes with them. She might appreciate an old basket like this and be willing to pay more for it. So you're going to buy it to resell? Probably would. We were thinking 11. I'll go 7. I think I can get more. I really do. No. This might be my last opportunity to sell this basket, but I'm not crazy about this offer. If I say yes to this lady, I won't be making the money I think I can make. And if I say no, I might end up with a very expensive laundry hamper on my hands. I'll go seven. I'll take the gamble. What about you? I... I'll go seven. I'll take the gamble. What about you? 
I'm having a hard time selling this hot air boom basket for what I think it's worth. I've already turned down one offer, and if this offer ain't what I want, I'll be turning it down too. I think you can do better than that. I, I think that, uh... You got my phone number. I if do. somebody else calls and, you know, comes by and goes higher than me, just give me a call and maybe I'll make a counteroffer. What can I say? I'm a guy that sticks to his guns when it matters. I just think I can do better on that offer, even if it's just a little better. Well, it looks like that old balloon basket ain't ever gonna float. But across town, Speedy and Tin Man, they're hoping that pontoon boat they built will float with Jill. She's never seen one in person. She took a real chance ordering one sight unseen. So we got our fingers and toes crossed that she's going to approve of what we've done. Hey, Jill. <laughs> well, that mystery's solved. I'm happy. She's happy. Do the uh, tiki drinks come with it, too? A little half a pineapple? And now you're really fond of me. <laughs> <laughs> we were paid $850 to build that pontoon boat. We got barrels worth $150, which we paid off by repairing that pig pen. Plus, lumber worth $400 that we paid off by fixing the storage tower. We put no cash into this boat build, which means we're netting that whole $850 for ourselves. I, you know, I was a little skeptical, but that looks great. Let's see oh, what you look like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Spirits might be high in Jill's parking lot, but they're lower than low over at Clint's, where that old balloon basket looks like it ain't ever going to sell. But there's a chance old Clint's lot might just change. Hey there. How's it going? Good. I was looking for your basket. So, you know, Uncle Henry's, you had 1200 yeah, what were you expecting to see when you got here? Was this it? A little was... better than this. Oh. I was willing maybe six. We've had better 600. offers. 600. We've had better offers. we got high hopes. What are you going to do with it? Resell it? You're going to just display it? Or? I can display it. I do photography, and I use old stuff. Oh, neat. So how about 902 photo shoots? You take pictures of bros? How about 750 in the photo shoots? I mean, eight, $800 is ridiculous, or... I mean, that's pretty close. I think eight's a really good number. Do I have to throw in the photo shoot? Just 800 bucks? If you feel good about it. So how light it is, Bruce. Yeah. It's just a very Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I see. So I could get it moved around myself. I'll load it in your truck right now for 775 All right, 775 Right good. to your check? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, sure. I'm reputable. Good. I'm good for my check. I trust you. <laughs> All right. You have an honest face. That's awesome. Cool. We cleaned up that barn for 700 bucks, and we traded that for Nate's labor and three items. We sold the sewing machine for $225, and we sold the balloon basket for $775. Now I've got $1,000 in my pocket, and that's how we do it in Maine. Are you going to ride that big bike? Yeah, you're going to ride that big bike. Don't fall off it. you hurt your face. As for that rickety old bike, I decided to keep it. It's not that I like it, but it's my future ex-son-in-law's favorite new toy. Never see him again. <laughs> this is what it's about right here. Hello, Mother. We don't get many days like this, but you're up to Father. Glad you could make it. <laughs> hey, animals. Cadena. This is a blessing when we can get everybody together. In Maine, us good old boys, we know how to put our nose to the grindstone when we need to. Let's just bust ass. Get it done. We can work hard if we have to. This great this if you want. But there's always a payoff. Watching your friends and family enjoy the fruits of your labor. How's the lobster, everyone? <laughs> good lobster? That's the reward. This is what we call living. Down East style. 